If you have ever browsed websites like Freepik or Victizi trying to find the best free or paid vector image for your designs, those crisp, clean vector illustrations that look absolutely perfect for t-shirt designs, then you might want to watch this video. Here's what most people don't know yet. ChatGPT 40 has quietly rolled out capabilities that can now produce vector style graphics that rival what you would find on those premium stock sites. So for our first example here, I'm downloading uh, a free image from pexels.com. I like this dog, so I'm going to test using this dog. Simply, I'm going to upload the image to ChatGPT4 and I'm going to enter my prompt saying convert this image to a highly detailed vector style illustration. All the prompts that I'm going to use in this video will be linked in the description of this video. So I'm using a detailed prompt and as you can see the result is amazing. It's It did convert the exact image to illustration style. Now let's take it further. I'm saying create another version of this image in black and white. And again, the result is perfect. You can easily remove the background, but the tracing is perfect for this image. But let's take it further. I would like to have this style of tracing with shadows. So I'm saying create. I'm saying now create a version of this exact image, but but with less shading volume, ideal for coloring book. And again, this this is very close to what I'm looking for. Detailed image with detailed tracing with no shading volume. But I think the lines are a little bit thin here. So I'm going to say create another version of this image as a tracing vector art style. And this is the keyword here. Vect tracing vector art style with bold lines. And this time the, the result that I, that I got is perfect. This is what I was looking for. It, an image that looks like traced image on Illustrator. So this is how you can get an image similar to the tracing like images on Illustrator. So this was a, our first example. Let's take the second example. For this one I'm using this image of a cat. And again my prompt says create a version of this image as a tracing vector art style with bold lines and again the result is is amazing i did not mention the colors so chat gpt assumed that i'm using the same colors and the image looks perfect and very similar to the original image now for the third example i'm using this shark image again i'm uploading the image and my prompt says create another version of this image as a tracing vector art style with bold lines and again the result is very similar to those images that you find on Freepik and which are perfect for print on demand this is always the result that I would like to find for the next example this image that I got on ChatGPT using a very detailed prompt and as you can see the result it even created these shadows on the glass so my prompt says bold vector illustration of a human skull wearing a summer hat but the keywords that I used here are thick black outlines stylized shadows modern cartoon aesthetic dramatic highlights retro pop art feel clean vector shapes so again all the prompts that i'm using will be will be found in the description in the video so and now i i entered the same prompt but this time i changed the description to a cat wearing a summer clothing and a hat and i got two different results and the two results are perfect one in black and white and one in colors and they are very much what I was looking for. Vector like images with clean and sharp lines. And for the next example, this image is one of the images that you can find on Freepik. This vintage car image. So this also is, is another nice image that you can find on Freepik. So for this, for this example, I'm trying to imitate the image or create similar image 
on ChatGPT40. So I'm using a prompt saying a vintage convertible car illustrated in clean vector cartoon style. Again, all the prompts will be found in the description of the video. I forgot to press on the create image button. So I re-entered the prompt and the result is, is perfect. Only this part needs fixing but the result that i got is perfect again you can easily remove the background and convert the la the image to vector because it has no gradient or blending issues and this time i'm going to use a different prompt i described the shadows to be stylized shadows and usually when i'm i describe stylized shadows i got i get even better results and also the result is very much vector like image that can fit on t-shirt designs so that was a quick tutorial on how we can use that gpt40 to create vector style images using different prompts with specific keywords to get the results that you're looking for so if you enjoyed the so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and subscribe for future tutorials thanks for watching